uh, my flight back to Liverpool uh, departed whilst I was on the train from the airport to here. It's not quite 7 a.m. I'm in Liverpool. It's freezing. Yes, it's raining. And I got to fly on two planes to Austria because I'm going to go and watch the Liverpool play. Last. La la la. la. Bless is the mighty power they can save the day. It's horrible here, but apparently it's the most. say 20 past yeah, 20 past 12 so I have been pooing my pants because it is now 10 past um, but I've got a little bit more time to get to the gate but still let's get there also uh, in filming it I didn't pay attention to what it was so I'm gonna have to watch my footage back uh, to see where I'm going hey hey 11 Oh, passport control, aren't you? It's get a brick of water. Okay, it's actually up on me time.
I now need to get a train to the city centre because I don't know whether you've seen Fight Club, um, but I played in the five side tournament last week and it's left me physically in physical trouble, Phys I've got some physical issues. Um, so I need to get as much public transport as possible over the next two days, starting with the train. Can I figure it out? Let's find out. We appear to have done it. Right, here we are, Vienna, beautiful Vienna train station, uh, Hauptbahnhof. Uh, I have just discovered a shocking fact. Have you thought that I was worried about the train thing coming up? No. The worst thing I've done is I just got a, a notification from Ryanair saying there's some urgent, urgent um, gate information for your flight for to Faro, which is how I'm getting home. Um, I thought well, it's a bit early to be telling me that. It's only a couple, it's a couple of days away, don't bother. Oh no, uh, it's now. Uh, technically, uh, my flight back to Liverpool uh, departed whilst I was on the train from the airport to here. Because I have booked return flights on the same day like a fucking dickhead! A fucking dickhead! I've cut every possible corner to save money on this. Um, and now I'm basically going to have to spend £200 on a flight to get me home. So, new mission, uh, find the hotel, check in, find myself a flight home. <sighs> Means nothing to me, nothing to me. So I'm on Arsenalstrasse, which means Arsenal Street, uh, which presumably means if I was to walk that way or that way, I'd see loads of flare, flash, style, um, very little substance, and probably by the time you get to the end, you're knackered and it all falls apart. I don't know, I don't know. It's got a cloister. It seems to have a cloister and a statue. Look at this. You've uh, you're sitting on your head there, mate. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Cloister, statue, sunshine, trees. Here's a really random one for you. See this sign? See that font? That font is called A Love of Thunder, and I know that because that was the original Redmen font. Uh, and I know that because when you go on to Da Font, looking for free fonts, and you type in distress fonts, uh, A space Love of Thunder, it's alphabetically the first one comes up. So every single person who's got basically not enough time to produce a proper quality uh, piece of artwork ends up using the love of thunder so there you go facts so hotel choice why am i in vienna lint it turns out is really expensive particularly when you don't book it so late yeah this trip's gone perfectly so far um so i managed to find somewhere that was like a 25 minute walk from the train station called the enziana hotel um it was cheap it was very cheap uh let's see if that's a bad thing <laughs> so there's like a, a, a naked woman and a bull's head with antlers 
in the lobby and then the room <laughs> nipples expected it's it's more wooden than i expected but it's better it's got more nipples than i expected but it's better than i expected good deserved so me and nipply man here have had a little chill um and it's occurred to me like, why is my stomach hurting so much uh, because i had a sausage butty at liverpool airport about half seven this morning it is now vienna time half five english time half four whatever I'm famished i need to find some food i need to find a bevy and i want to find one more nice looking vienna locale and then i'm gonna call it a night <laughs> before i do two things i've noticed problem with the room uh first one is this sink tap yeah fine what's this turn it on yeah no problem no problem no problem oh oh it pisses water out the bottom brilliant brilliant it's got a little drain yeah, I'll go down there eventually. I mean, technically, that's fine. And the other is this. The toilet, I found another toilet design. Look at this, it's got like a weird bowl thing here and then the water flows down. And into there. Add it, just add it to my list of new toilet experiences. So I just noticed this place, drinks, snacks, uh, coffee, gadgets, toys, and mare. Um, but it appears to be uh, owned by me. Oh, I've managed to find somewhere just around the corner from the hotel, which looks a bit leafy and stuff. I've no idea where the food's but There's no menu on the outside. I know that Speisekarte is a menu, uh, and Schurigen means excuse me, uh, and Rechnung means bill. Uh, will I get to use any of these, or will I just bottle it and say English things? That remains to be seen. Said it, didn't know anything else to say. Managed to get a beer so far, so it would be a pretty, pretty, pretty universal. <laughs> I've ordered schnitzel something. It's basically a big chicken nugget and it's absolutely fine. Right, sounds. Did it. Uh, I asked for the menu and I asked for the bill in German and everything else in between was an absolute mess and it was a giant chicken nugget and it was fine. Um, but there you go. Now I just need to find <clears throat> something that looks Vienna-ish before I call it a night. <laughs> it's dark. I've been walking for ages randomly. I have found somewhere that looks suitably Viennese. It is this. The Volks Theatre apparently, which if anything, uh, I've learned anything about just linguistics, that is uh, made by Volkswagen. Volks Theatre? That'll do. Did you know that Liverpool have played two competitive games of football against uh, Vienna in size? Which means that technically they only ever played one competitive game of football in Vienna. Um, I thought it would be rapid, uh, but it wasn't. It's actually Austria-Vienna. Um, there's a little side story to that where apparently they were called Austria Vienna Memphis because they were owned by a tobacco company at the time, which is wild when you think about it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, 1985, March 1985, in the third round of the European Cup, uh, Liverpool came to Vienna uh, and played Austria Vienna and drew one all with them. Steve Nichol uh, scored Liverpool's only goal. Uh, it was described as a really well fought, well won point. Uh, they then took it back to Anfield and absolutely snotted them everywhere. Uh, of course, yeah, the season doesn't end 
in a particularly positive note, obviously 1985 uh, is the season that ends with Liverpool's loss uh, and the death of 39 Juventus fans at Heisel. But yeah, Vienna remains a quirky little footnote in Liverpool football club history. Uh, I was going to go and check the stadium out, but apparently it was knocked down uh, a number of years ago, so there's that. Uh, but there you go, a little bit of Liverpool knowledge for you. It's not just me pottering around and talking about things that I've noticed. It's mainly that, but sometimes there's a fact. As another side note, they actually beat them 1-0 in a pre-season friendly on the 11th of August 1978 in a place called the Wiener Stadion. That's a fact. Wiener Stadion. Right, I'm about to go to bed, but uh, the hotel's machine that sells bottles of water doesn't work. So, I'm going to... My gaff. So... There's a wide selection of things you can get here. There's your sweets and snacks. There's your drinks. Ludicrously expensive prime. Well done. Um, brilliantly, they are sold out of water. Arseholes. But anyway, for completeness, there we go. There's some snacks. Bit of wine. There's, there's your Jaeger if you want that. Vodka. Yeah, that stuff. Energy drinks, Fanta, but this, this is the coup de gras. Yeah, you can get a cock, or a cock ring, or a vagina masturbator. Just that's all fine. To each their own. For every man and religion. For each this is fucking wild. There's my crisps. Okay, I've bought apparently I've bought two iced teas. Yeah. Fifty shit. That is apparently it. I have bought thoughts about water. I'm so confused. Hello. Hello, hello. here we go. That's a lot of effort. Sparkling water. Uh, here's my haul. Iced tea, mango, bugles, nacho cheese, a biffy turkey roll, another iced tea, this time peach, I want to say peach, a brownie, rich, moist and fudgy, and of course the sparkling vasa. Right, that's it. Me and Nicole person are going to bed. Um, tomorrow, lint. I feel like an utterly disgusting human being. I'm eating some sort of processed turkey sausage wrapped in some sort of processed bread um, in front of a half decomposed body with its nipples out um do subscribe to the channel do drop a like um if you want more liverpool content i have got <laughs> I need to pay for this trip somehow um go to redmenplus.com and use the code lask i've made it specifically for mage tv subscribers l-a-s-k will get you 25 percent off a yearly subscription to redmen plus a full year of redmen videos podcasts Good stuff. 25% off. Captain yearly subscription. L-A-S-K. Get involved with that. That'll be much, much appreciated. Oh. <laughs> right, fit and fresh. Um, my turkey thing seems to have gone down okay. Um, right, today's the day. Lask. Liverpool. Uh, my mission now is to get to the train station, take a 90 minute train from Vienna to Lask, 
uh, and then let's go and have a little look at the stadium and then get checked in and, and, and so on and so forth. There's a, there's a horse drawn carriage. So apparently we're a 22 minute walk away from the stadium, so let's go and do it, let's go and check it out. Arena in Linz, home of Lask, where tonight Liverpool will be taking them on in their return to Europa League action. So, this is all that was left in Linz. This is where I'm staying tonight. Um, it's fine. There's like me kettle and that. There's me table. There's me telly. There's me window. And there's me bed. And there's me pose and mirror. Got me so let's check the toilet. Yeah, proper toilet. Does the sink piss water out the bottom? It does not. Little seat slash ladder. Better.
so it is the morning after the night before. I managed to grab myself a little token, a little memento. Uh, they said we haven't got any with Liverpool on as well. I said, no, no, it's fine. I've, uh, I've got plenty of Liverpool things. I don't want a half and half. This will be great. Um, well, I just want to say the hospitality, the friendliness, the general environment, just how pleasant everything's been, how well policed, how well stewarded the game was, treating us like grown-ups with respect and getting it in return. We had this when I went to the Allianz. Uh, it's what's they were called by Bayern Munich as well. Um, just the best culture to watch football in, to be perfectly honest. Obviously two different countries, but very similar approaches. Um, I thought the last fans were brilliant. I really enjoyed the, the noise and the dedication to the cause. I've done like done in a hostile to make it noisy way, but not in a violent way, which I think is the right answer for how you should be supporting your football team. Yes, you might be wondering how am I getting home. So yes, um, I I now have to <laughs> the train to Vienna. I have to fly to Barcelona. I have to wait five hours in Barcelona airport before flying back to Liverpool. Listen, I shit this bed, and now I've got to lie in it. Um, I just want to say first and foremost and finally really thank you so much for joining me on this journey hopefully if there's no more complications this will be pretty much the end um, but yeah listen if you've enjoyed this do consider signing up to redmenplus.com uh, it is the thing that funds all of my adventures um, if you use the code LASK L-A-S-K um, that's going to give you 25% off a yearly subscription to redmenplus.com a yearly captain tier subscription it's going to get you all the content, podcast videos documentaries, a 25% off for a whole year and hopefully fund more amazing Euro trips just like this Listen, drop a like, share it if you enjoyed it and subscribe to Mates TV as well and hopefully this is me done, there's no more complications <laughs> so my train is delayed by an hour which means I would get if it, if it doesn't continue to get delayed I'll be delayed I'll have an hour in the, in the airport to get through everything and get to the, the actual plane I've just been told I can get the 11.31 instead <laughs> Nein. Steigt jeder Euro? Jeder oder läuft jeder von dir davor? Das erste Mal gesehen, ein Euro. Weltklasse, verkauft. Das ist ein Kontor, das kann ich nicht mehr bezahlen. Ja, da. Schade, ich kann nicht mehr bezahlen.
amazing. Okay, I'm about to board. Um, it's nearly three hours delayed the flight, but it should get me in a quarter past eight, which gives me two hours until my final flight. So that's it. I'm going to bid you adieu because I think this is how it should be fine. Like, share, subscribe. Use the code LASK on Redmond Plus in a bit. back in Liverpool. Uh, huge, huge thanks to Ross Golding as well, who really helped me through Barcelona Airport. Thank you so much everyone for joining me on the vlog. Hopefully there will be another, uh, but that depends on you. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and do use the last code as well, if I've not said that enough. Anyway, yes, up the Reds, up the Euro trips, and up me. No, that sounds horrible. <laughs> uh, me going to bed. Fuck off.